Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my girlfriend Kelly. Hey there. So today's video, I'm talking about a fragrance line that I've never tried before. It's a niche quality fragrance line and their fragrance prices are pretty good. So I'm going to leave the link down below to their website and their Instagram. And their fragrance company is called, what's this called now? Specimen. Specimen. So this is pretty cool. Um, they, um, the company, I saw their stuff on Instagram, so I like liked it a few of their bottles. It looked it nice. And then a representative had, we talked uh, through Instagram and she had sent me a sample pack to just try out and see what I like them. So I'm going to give a first impression. If there's one I really do like, I'll do a full review or I'll just buy a bottle to review on a channel. Or if there's a fragrance you guys want me to review, leave your comments down below later in this video. So shout out to uh, Julia. She was nice enough to send me a letter saying uh, thank you for reaching out to us to try out our fragrances. So thank you, Julia. So the fragrances, there are three fragrances and they cost $90. You can get a sample set like this for $30. You get all three fragrances. And I'm gonna go over the name of each one. So the first one we're gonna talk about is one I'm very curious about. This one here is called uh, Beach Bum. And then they have Cherry Popper, and then they have Black Tar. Do you need some nails? Yeah, she's going to pull with her nails because they're kind of thick in there. But it's nice because they're not ro they're not rolling around in the box. So they are secure, which is always this a is good This is very thing. secure. All right, Beach Bum. doop a doo doo That's the blue one. There we go. So we're going to smell these, and I'm going to see what she how she thinks about them. And I'll let you guys know first impression, so... And you can see how securely it's packaged with how much we struggled. Oh. Just give it a She's look. She's going to smell that one. I want to smell this one here. Ooh. Very, very beachy. Very salty. Yeah, very salty. Yeah, this one I get, I, I could pick up that saltness like you're at the beach. Tends the name kind of gives you that kind of background of what the fragrances smell like. I get some, uh, I get a saltiness. I get a little bit of coconut. I was going to say like, so, but it's light. I feel like a lot of beach, BG ones are very coconutty. This one has such like a hint of coconut. Like I'm almost like, yeah, there's coconut in there, I guess. <laughs> like it's nice because it's different than most beachy ones. The salt is really hitting me, but like, not. I, it's nothing like I've ever smelled before. Okay, so it's nothing bad. No, not in a bad way. I'm, I'm just, I'm completely intrigued. I like I it. Pick up some vanilla too in this fragrance. I'm gonna leave a note. Is down that below. what it is? I think it's some vanilla I pick up in the, in the fragrance. I don't have notes on me. I apologize. I'll leave the, the description here with all the notes in the fragrance. But this is first impression. It's so it comes off a little bit fresh too. It's so interesting. I like it a lot. I don't feel like it's like any beach fragrance I've ever smelled. Oh, cool. Like I usually feel like, usually it says, I'm saying the word usually a lot, <laughs> um, salty and I don't pick up on the salt. And this is like boom salt. <laughs> yeah, I do like this one. This is one I was hoping to like just because it had the beach Bum one, and I kind of like that beachy type of vibe in the fragrance. I feel like when so. you read about it, you were like, I want this one. Yeah, and then it had that coconut note, which I kind of like in fragrance. Ever since I tried Virgin Island Water, I tend to like coconut and fragrance, coconut and lime. And this one is no Who doesn't that, like? But it's just, it's it's a beachy type of fragrance. It's something that if you could reach for as a beach fragrance, and the I price for these if aren't it's... bad, though. I feel like it's giving me, like, some sort of alcoholic beverage, like, maybe, like, a tequila type vibe okay. with... The saltiness, I don't really drink tequila drinks personally, but doesn't mean they don't smell good. This is a great <laughs> fragrance to wear like in the spring and summer, I feel like. I mean, you probably wear it all year round if you want because, you know, you're buying the fragrance, but primarily I think it's more of a uh, spring and summer fragrance. I'm gonna spray it on my skin real quick and see how she feels about it. So, spray a little bit on my skin. sit for a second so this is cool because when you buy the sample set you get um three of them for thirty dollars and then um you get a thirty dollar coupon or voucher to purchase a bottle in the future so the thirty dollars that you That's buy the samples great. for they put it towards a full bottle i think it's like a month or two months from the time you purchase your your fragrance your sample set so it's not too bad to when you find one you like you get thirty dollars towards your, your your full bottle. That you already spent. And I think they're $90 per bottle. I'll leave all the information down below. 
That's so nice. It smells good. Real sweet. Yeah, it definitely smells a little bit um, different on you. I almost... I get a little bit of like a caramel. I was just about to <laughs> say, caramel, kind of like caramel, uh, with the salt like interacting with your skin and maybe because of that um, sweetness with the vanilla. Yeah, it's a mixture it of is, both. More yeah. sweeter. I, don't, I get a beachiness, but it's not as loud as the, the vanilla and the caramel is picking up that sweet like, like candy kind of sweetness. Not more yeah. of the beach vibe, but I do pick up beach in the background, but more caramel and like vanilla. But yeah, you know like how salt brings out the sweetness in candies and stuff like salted caramel um, or like, you know, uh, caramel popcorn or something yeah, like that. Yeah, kind of get that type of vibe. So it, you know, enhances that sweetness. So that's really interesting how it sort of transformed on you. Um, I wasn't getting as much of the vanilla on the paper but or whatever sweet notes are in there but they're definitely coming out on your skin so, so. i'm gonna spray it on her skin and see how she feels about oh no it. wait babe sorry that's that's the cherry one i got one that's here. that's the second one all right so spray a little bit on her skin and see how she feels about it see if she still likes it or not and um i'll leave all the information down below if you want to reach out to the company and order samples or check out their website or their instagram because they do have an instagram too so you can check out all their social media uh, information. I think more coconutty. Yeah, you kind of get more coconutty, and I get more like a caramel and saltiness. But you know, but there, it, it's nice on both. But it's different on on each person's skin. So please keep that in mind when you buy this fragrance. Then because it smells. That's what's so great on her about getting different. samples, and I like these samples. I mean, it's I guess the amount, only too. this is a good amount. The only flaw with them being black, although I I, I really it. like the look of them. Yeah. You have no idea how much, much is left. But these, are, these are five mils. So you have a good amount of juice to try it out on your skin like this isn't going to go away if like a day you can wear it two three times on your skin and see how it develops see if you like it we're going to try the next fragrance this one here is um uh cherry popper so i'm gonna leave the notes down here below so you guys can check it out i'm gonna spray it on a test strip here so me and my girlfriend see if she likes it go. go sprayers are good they do shoot out a lot of juice so I can not, already not smell it. Yeah. I can pick up the strongness in it already. Okay. Hmm. So this one, I don't pick up a cherryness. I do, but it's almost... I pick up like a darkness. It's dark. It's not a light. It's not like a sweet cherry. It's darker. It's very... It's a very... I feel like it's a very darker fragrance to me. I... Yes, it's not a very sweet cherry. I almost want to say it's like medicinal. Okay. You know what I mean? Like those medicines that they would flavor with cherry okay. as like, a kid. I, I, I call some? Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. It's not bad. It's just it. It's I. I thought it was gonna be like a blast of a freshness slash a cherryness, but it's it's more of a darker kind of cherry fragrance. It's not bad. It's just I was hoping for like a blast of freshness, and it's like oh wow, cherries. Like I'm thinking of of like a cherry, you know, you have to eat with something. I do feel like you would expect this to be a sweet fragrance and it's not. Okay. Cause of the name too. It is, I feel like it's more of a freshie. Um, it's not my favorite. Okay. Um, personally, I like sweet fragrances. This is more of a, like I do, I get what you're saying. It has a darker vibe. Um, it's not for me personally but spray it on you okay. let's see how it develops on your skin because it's you know sometimes paper doesn't do it justice spray a little bit on my skin here yeah it's not my fave first impression but sometimes things grow on me okay. sometimes i'll keep wearing something and i'll be like you didn't like that but i'll be like what are you wearing because sometimes, like, the first two days I'll wear a fragrance, she might like it, she might not. But after I might I wear be like, three or four times, get away from me. She might like it after <laughs> the third or fourth time. And when it's in the air, too, it's not like initial blast sometimes isn't the best of a fragrance. Yeah, sometimes that first smell, I'm not a fan. But things will grow on me, especially when he keeps wearing it because he's testing it out. He's testing out the performance. Sometimes it just grows on me because he's still wearing it for days on end. 
Hmm. I'm not getting it. Hmm. Does it seem to be light on my skin? I'm not getting as much of a medicinal vibe anymore on your skin. Is so it, it must have been the interaction with the paper. Is it fresher or lighter, do you think? I think I'm still getting that dark vibe. Yeah, I still, I get a, a darkness. I don't get like um, any type That's of so freshness, which is kind of weird. That's so hard to describe. Yeah, this what is a fragrance we... I can't, I can't pinpoint when you're using... what you would smell in this fragrance. Like, <laughs> what? Fragrance, like, oh, this, this, this is like a dark. What does dark I feel, smell like? I feel like it's like, it's something <laughs> that is more of like a, I feel like a little bit of a me medicine type of vibe with mixed with cherry and it's, it's nothing that I particularly like. I mean, but this may be my least favorite from the lineup. But well, we got one more. We got one more to go, but this one I'm not really feeling. She's not feeling it, but nevertheless, you definitely try it for yourself because just because I don't like it, she doesn't like it, doesn't mean you're not gonna like it because everybody taste is going very different. This is so you know? hard to, de this one's hard to describe. Try the last one right now mm. and then we're gonna go back and smell all my skin after it's sat for a little bit and then I'll go over to know she needs one. Then we'll wrap this thing up. Should we smell, should we put cherry pop around sure. me as well? We'll spray it on her skin too. Just so we have it. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of got like a dark juice too. You could, so on her skin, you could you tell on my <laughs> translucent skin. <laughs> hmm. Ugh. Yeah. I don't too much like that one. <laughs> mm -mm. No, def definitely didn't. Uh, it's not great on me either. Um, so. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll let it set. Sometimes then, it needs time. Sometimes yeah. that opening. Sometimes the opening isn't the best, but then the mid and the dry down are so awesome that you can live with the rest of the fragrance. You just have to let. That's it really bit. what you want. The mid and the dry down. Is that Because the opening, who cares? You know That's by, like by time you meet 10 somebody, minutes. You see somebody, they're going to pick up the mid and the dry down more than the opening, you know, in a fragrance. All right, so now I'm going to try to let Number three. You, you got it. All right. I already handed it to you. Of course, last one is called Black, uh, Black tar. tar. So I'm very curious about this one. This one, I'm like, he used to work with tar. And I was like, did that smell good? And he says yes. So I did construct for almost about nine years. And um, I used to do asphalt for a living at a concrete. I'm a little worried and about And stuff this like one. that. So I'm curious to see what this smells like. Mm -hmm. If it smells like that, that's cool. Mm -hmm. If it's not, no worries. I'm just very curious to see what it smells like since the name tends to be something that I've, I know about. I've been doing it for a couple years of my life. So let me spray it on, on my test strip. So far, not what I expected. Right. <laughs> I have not worked construction. Okay. You gotta tell me if it smells like your work days. <laughs> it smells nice. So I get an opening, like a freshness in the opening. It's fresh. That's not what I expected for black tar. I get a little bit of a of a tar kind of darkness in the background, it but it, but it's fresh though. It's all. It's does like it a, like remind fresh. you of your work days? Like, does it have a, a reminiscence of your construction? I can pick up a little days. bit of it because during that time it, with the heat and just the tar, you pick up some of that Sounds fumes like in it. It's just I, I pick it up. I'm not saying it's like 100 percent like that, but. I do get some type of similarity or brings me back to when I was doing asphalt for a living for almost eight, nine years. I do like this one. I'm, it's not a, I do like know. it too. I, out of all three of them, if you told me Beach Bum, Cherry Popper, and Black Tar, which one I wouldn't like would be Cherry Popper. <laughs> Honestly, I'm blown away. I like this one. It is fresh and, and and it's also it's interesting especially you know what for me freshies are so rare to be interesting yeah a lot of times they're just simple they just you smell it like there's you smell nothing citrus, wrong you smell, you smell the same over and over it's a fresh and a clean fragrance this is tend to be fresh. nothing it's wrong with different. having freshies in your collection absolutely yeah. not because you know what aware too, what do people you know, say it's yeah. a dumb reach yeah. you want to smell fresh you of course great to have fresh fragrances in your collection but you know when he has me smell them i'm like it's fresh it's nice it's good it's not interesting <laughs> uh, and i need to smell interesting things this is an interesting fresh fragrance why is it called black tar <laughs> i don't know but I'm sure they have the reasons. Um, 
I'm gonna sp spray mm. this one on my It's skin developing a little different. And spray it on her skin. Yeah, we should, happens, we, so should, we should spray. Spray a little bit on my skin here. Now spray some on hers in the back here. Yeah. There you go. So while this one It's sits, starting to smell a little different now. I'm gonna- um, On the paper at I'm least. I'm gonna grab the note breakdown for each one. And I'm gonna come back and we're gonna test each one on, on our skins and see what we feel like. We're gonna give a final rating and then I'm gonna let you know which one I'm gonna either eventually pick up or review on my channel. Beach Bum. So this one here has notes of coconut in the top notes. We have balsam, we have beech wood, creamy vanilla, we have salty muscle cord, and we have ambergris. So definitely pick up the coconut and definitely pick up that beech wood. I can definitely get a lot of that salty musk. That salty musk is that the first thing initially you pick up is the salty musk. For sure. It's like you pick it up on the paper, but on my skin, I do I pick up that creamy vanilla with a caramel kind of twist on Let my skin. Let me smell skin. your skin again. It's lighter now though. Yeah. Yeah, so I pick up some caramel on her skin too now. Yeah. Yeah, I, this one I really like a lot. I was really hoping like when I would be like, I could see myself wearing this one in the spring and summertime. Yeah, it's, like it's right up your alley. And I feel like this can be a unisex. This doesn't lean male oh. or feminine, just so people know, because people always I feel like this whole not. line has no gender, which yeah. that's always, I feel like niche fragrance companies very rarely gender their fragrances, which I'm super into because I think the whole thing of gendering fragrances is BS. Just wear whatever you want to wear. As long it's, as you have the money to buy it, wear whatever you want to wear. If you smell good, if you like what you're wearing, just wear that. Exactly. Um, these are EDP, so these are very high concentration. So they're EDP concentrations, which is awesome. I could tell. And so <laughs> now, so my rating so far for someone I like, so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight, a solid eight so far. I haven't, I don't know about the performance, but opening for me testing on my skin, I do like this one. This is my number one on the list I like out of the three. I'll give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. The second one we're talking about here is um, we have is Cherry Popper. And this one here has notes of cherry, blonde tobacco. We have rose. Uh, we have Maybe sandalwood. We have Canadian red cedar, vanilla, and musk. Maybe it's the tobacco I don't like. It could be that tobacco because tobacco gives off a little bit of, uh, it's just, it's, you know. You know uh, what? Like a smokiness. It smells better on me now. It's it's up here yeah. more so. Yeah, yeah. I know it's, it's kind of it's it's nice. It's it? not a, it's, it's kind of no, sweet. This is that stained part. <laughs> it definitely stained my skin a little bit. Oh, I, do I like am. It. But it, but I mean, too it, white. It's, it's, it it kind of gives off a smokiness with that tobacco. Yeah, it's, I do it's like, a it, very. It's, nice. it's funny because it says blonde tobacco, so you'd think that'd be like not so intense. Very intense. Yeah, this is this is a strong bold <coughs> from what I smell. It's very mm -hmm. strong. This one I think is stronger than the the first one is nice and strong. This one is very strong. Like you know, I don't think you need many sprays with this one. Do you know what I feel like? Almost like the popper. Maybe by popper they almost mean like. Now I'm thinking like firework. Okay. Like it's got that smokiness like from like a firework. So maybe instead of like, um, a cherry the fruit. I feel like there are fireworks called cherry poppers. Okay. So I think that's what they mean. And th this almost smells, but no, I mean, it has cherry in it, yeah. but it almost smells like a firework, like that smokiness. That's what it's just reminded me of now. I don't pick up that vanilla or the musk. I definitely pick up that tobacco and I pick up some cherry. I'm getting no vanilla. Are I'm you getting any rose? No, I'm not really picking up I, the I get I, no floral. No. I don't really pick up the rose. Then I'm again, just getting like smoky yeah. tobacco. So if you like that, yeah, if you this like is for you. Tobacco, you're going to like this. Now, I'm definitely going to uh, wear a little bit more. And if I feel like this is a great fragrance, I will come back and review this one on the channel. It might just have to grow on us. I got to say, though, I already like it better than when we smelled it a few minutes ago. Right. So it settled it, down a little bit. It settled down a lot. I was like, you know what, it smells better now. That initial spray, I was like, nope. So what would you rate it? I'll give it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 6.5. I'll give it a, a four. It is kind of strong. I'll give it a four, a four, but you know me. I like sweet. <laughs> so this is not, not for killers. <laughs> so the last one we're going to talk about today is uh, Black Tar. This one here has notes of bergamot, 
poppy seeds, juniper, leather, birch, and agarwood, and musk. I like a leather fragrance. Shocking. I don't feel like I'm getting the leather. I kind of get that. It the, must be the that, juniper. That and I, I get the birch and I get that musk on my skin. I, hmm. I feel like I'm getting the juniper. Maybe it's birch. I don't know what stuff smells like. Uh, it's a little bit up, oh, up, up here. here. That's where you spray So it. I pick up the leather on her skin. When I smell it, I pick up the leather. I trust I, his I, nose. I, I do. <laughs> and I and she doesn't like leather. So I hate it. So she's not well, the few fragrances we tried out with leather note in it, that was the main note. She didn't too much. There's like some it. leather fragrance. That there's there, like. there's that one leather fragrance I love, but it's rare that I like leather fragrances. So when I just saw leather listed there, <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. But I do like this one. This one's and, nice. And, and it, it doesn't sound too. like a fresh fragrance from the notes, but it's I guess it's that bergamot really lifts it. And maybe the juniper with the like floral. Oh, I'm sorry, I this hit the mic. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again, see if I got my stuff. That smells lovely. Nice. Honestly, nice. you guys gotta try out black tar. I'm telling you. It's really nice. The name can maybe be a little bit misleading because you would think that's going to smell like a tar or like... Do not judge a, a book and, by and, its cover. And for me, I did asphalt before for so many years, so it's like I kind of get a memory of black tar smelling this fragrance, but it does not smell like black tar like, when, you know, when it's when, when you're paving I mean, the road, like, nothing like that. I think we've not i don't want to say we've all driven but i think a good number of people have probably driven over a fresh paved road yeah. and you know seen people paving uh you know roads you can smell so, it in the air when you drive by if you have your exactly down. so you think you like i i was like i know what fresh asphalt smells like so when he told me he was getting these samples he showed me the instagram i was like oh, i don't want to smell black tar <laughs> what a terrible name for a fragrance <laughs> and i'm again i'm shook you guys gotta try it. I so do, I, I, I like highly, too. I I would give this one. Um, I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I do like this one so far. I actually think I would also. Do I like it more than Beach Bum? Ah, uh, I. I think I would give it an eight. Yeah, oh, I think cool. I actually like it more than Beach Bum. My favorite for the lineup would be, uh, Beach Bum, and then it would be Black Tar, and then the third would be. Cherry popper. Those are my three. I'll, if I were to buy one, ordering them, I'm yeah. ordering them. So nothing's wrong with them. It's just my favorite to my least favorite. So if I were to buy one bottle only, it probably would be Beach Bum, or it would be Black Tar. I feel like Beach Bum is something I don't have in my collection. I do have a lot of freshies in my collection, so I don't really need another freshie. But I mean, at the price point, it's not bad. They're ninety dollars for a bottle. Especially so, when you already have thirty dollars going towards it, so then it's sixty. Sixty bucks. So you can always just get one and then later buy another one if you feel like you want to add another to your collection. But the really high quality niche fragrances are all the performs. I'm gonna leave all the information down below so you can reach out to them and order yourself samples because you get three of them together and it's an awesome deal to try them out because hey you pay $30 try three of them out if you don't like none of them it's fine. You spend thirty bucks, you try all three of them instead of paying ninety, 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 almost a lot of money for three fragrances you don't like you get three samples for for 30 bucks and they're five mils so you can use them out they're not two or three mils they're five mil samples and try them out that's it i'm not getting paid off for this video so this is not a sponsored video the company we talked and they reached out to me and they sent me the product to just give my opinion on that's it so i'm not getting paid any money they're not sending me any bottles nothing like that so just a full disclaimer i forgot to talk about that in the beginning so thanks ladies and gentlemen for watching another fragrance video if you like these type of fragrance videos and you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. Hit like button, leave a comment down below. If you heard this company, leave your comments down below. I'm very curious if you tried them out. I know only one reviewer I know had talked about them. And it was Solano from um, uh, from a YouTube channel. I'll leave his channel down below. You can definitely check him out. Uh, the one and only. I'm going to leave his link down below. He describes the fragrances too because he has a sample set too. So he was the one that told me about this company. So shout out to you, man. Nice. Give him a little shout out. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.